So yes, finally, finally. Ah, finally! Oh my gosh, my, bro my voice broke out there. Oh lordy. Um, so yeah, we're back with another Duck and Bow video. Uh, for me, sorry, my music is still really loud. Uh, just because, you know, recording and stuff like that. Still feels weird a little bit though, but of course, we're back again. We got the Janempa Dokken Fest event. For the boy Janempa. So of course, so, um, this is Dokken Fest event and stuff like that, of course. Um, right here. And again, super simple, super really easy to go through. It's actually really, really easy. Let's see if like a whole Super Saiyans team, which is actually pretty simple though. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, though, um, it's actually really simple. Actually, if you really want to go like that far, go to the first stage of this Janemba event. But basically, again, you go through the stage and stuff like that. You, um, usually you can get like, um, you can get, um, whatchamacallit. You can get, um, you'll find a medals, um, bonus. My, blank, my brain is drawing a blank. Oh, boy. My blank is drawing a brain. <laughs> you get King Yama or, you know, Ghost Ushers. You get those either or when you first, when you do the Z Hard version of the stage, which is just regular Z Hard. Then, of course, you do Z Hard, then, like, the regular the Janempa. Then, of course, the SCR one is quest right there as well. So, yeah, um, again, of course, now we get the new tech one, which they're all good, though, honestly. Um, of course, you know what the easiest ad time is going on. This guy should be in about a week at the time of recording. I'll upload this next day as soon as I can, whatever. Um, so, yeah. I don't know how it rolls in, because I did do the Pycon event and stuff like that, of course. So, yeah, of course, Super Goji is going to be your main best bet. You get this guy, and, of course, if you do not have them, just run Super Saiyans. You can easily just, again, you can beat the event either way, though. And he does dodge, actually, during the text stage, so, yeah. And then, again, I love the update where he tells you all the units and stuff like that, of course. Oh, uh, you can scroll down and stuff like that, of course. Now, guys, you do this from my phone. It's super player nice, and I love it. F1X, you're awesome. So, yeah. There's any, again, any Super Saiyan users on here, so, yeah. I thought I had the Dark Fest Broly, because that's all right, actually. Did I say Dark Fest? Yeah, it's all right. Uh, so, yeah. Of course, we can get started in the event. I will probably just use the universe with the Power Soccer team. Of course, um, my biggest point with PyCon was I was really disappointed. No new units and stuff like that. I mean, Janemba has tons of units on here, but still, I could just, again, just whatever. Um, yeah, though. Uh, of course, first stage is, I think you just find Janemba the whole way through. Of course, the new attack one. The one, the one where he transforms, I guess. The AGL one, which he's an OSR. Of course, the tech one's the last one and stuff like that, of course. That's only for Z Heart if doing the first three, because they do three phases. Then again, I guess if you don't feel like doing this one, because I think it's only like six medals, I believe. Um, but. We do this one and stuff like that, of course, on the fourth one, the Z Heart, the 25 stage. 25 stamina, I'm, I'm not even focused today. Um, of course, you'll get like, you know, seven and stuff like that. So, of course, we got the new Dinep Ball, the boy, Big Chungus himself. Um, so yeah, with the, um, you know, um, belly, dark pole blaster. <laughs> okay, now, of course, he turns his transform into Jampa and stuff like that. It's cool we have a fat Dinep Ball Dark Fest, and of course, he transforms into tech, which isn't that bad though, but, um, Again, the Bohemian Pycon both do a lot, though. Of course, got all the other Janipa Awakenings, which are also good, though. I like your chocolate. This guy gets the EVA after this guy because he is a side unit and he does awaken with these Janipa medals. I'm not this one anytime soon because we already have STR Janipa, which he has own one. And of course, you know, it's not like the same as this one, the Int one, it was EVA. But this guy's different as well, though. So, um, yeah, again, completely different and stuff about that, of course. But yeah, he probably will Doken Awaken from, I think, the STR one, probably. We'll see it. Or the Int one. No, I think the STR. Because you guys are awakening with the SCR one. So yeah, whatever done stalling, let's get started. Just kind of want to explain and kind of go through that as well. So of course, we got um, Universal Zavala Saga. Um, I have a transforming team. Of course, you know, got Kel Khalifa on there and stuff like that, of course. Um, then we also got Yuya Goku and Jiren and stuff like that. I'll probably show if Jiren's access to go here. I potentially could, but whatever. So whatever, float the cake. Float the cake, float the boat. Whatever, I had a cake in my head. Float the floating cake, whatever. So, of course, we got boy, Big Jungus. I still need to upload the SA animation for Global and Videos for a quick Doka Fest Metal Sport. Doka Fest Metal, Doka um, Fest a, um, AST. Um, Doka Fest um, video as well for their um, Super Attack animations. Again, just not really busy the last couple of days. Just I've um, been kind of just relaxing a little bit, trying to get some of these um, more mobile recordings out. Just because, again, um, I did this way back in the day when I first started my YouTube channel. Um, I just kind of fell off of it. I even mentioned this in my Python video. So, hey, we can see the SA animation. And you that I get to see the SA animation is great. I love it. Um, so you guys can see it for yourself and stuff like that. It's actually really good. Um, but yeah, any chance I get to show, do this and show up any Doka Fest event for any of these Doka Fest units, I get any chance, I'm gonna do it. I don't care. Um, yeah, dang, Jiren, the is going down. Dang, Jiren! <laughs> okay, Jiren's still actually really good though there, okay? Um, yeah, hey, Janempa. Oh, dang, he just shook my screen. Uh, Janempa's like, hey, you ain't done yet, boy, doing the Frieza pose. That is actually the pose when he does in the movie poster. Him and Gogeta have that, um, I think, oh, Frieza. Okay, let's try from with Frieza, actually, here. I'll keep a careful on Goku in rotation. Okay, let's show from with Frieza. Again, they're all some of my power units. We're all gonna link well anyway, though. And again, any chance I get to see this golden Frieza transformation is actually really good. So yeah, looks beautiful. I think it's still one of the best transformations in the game to kind of see. Of course, you know we got active skills now, support memories. We'll, we'll come to Gobu during the six year anniversary. I feel like, oh yeah, where's the support memories and stuff like that? But those come out for Gobu. We had that update where we had the six year update where basically we had like support items, the 
you know, kind of assets and stuff like that. Not assets, but we had like the mechanic for it already because it does remove the two item slots. But Gobo didn't authorize it properly because again, it's, it takes away both the item slots. And when you use support items again with Crash because he's trying to program the support members with that. Because the support memory film, like when you enter a stage, like for example, we try to use like item right here. I'll have it on the top of the screen. It'll have like, it would update it and adjust it for the um, support member items. So you gotta do this. Um, I don't care if Kyle can go through gets the support tag. So yeah, that's the problem with, with Global. I will do another video for that as well. Again, I just have so many mobile videos to do and stuff like that. I accidentally turned around a little bit. Um, so the music got really loud there for a second. Um, I had to turn that down. That was really getting on my nerves. I'm um, aggravating me a little bit. But yeah. Hey, should I get to show off? Um, any of these animations are all really good. Because again, on my phone. It oh, I never saw this. Oh my gosh. This is what the heck, man. Here's a just um, plot and jump right here. So yeah. Um, again, any chance I get to show off these animations and stuff like that is all really good, though, of course. Um, even Goku just for me to UI down here. Because again, on my new phone, it looks so amazing. If you guys do not know, I know the iPhone XR is big, huge, big, big chungus is big. So yeah, um, of course, A, another essay animation. Um, I actually might start playing these when I start doing like the, um, like my videos and stuff like that when I show up the banners. Cause I actually do like showing off the banners once I um, do the videos and stuff like that. So yeah, um, again, it's so weird cause he never does, does have like a format and stuff like that for this guy. Um, just have the format for like all this. So yeah, I think we can see Kefla transform next turn, I believe. So yeah, Janemba's gonna transform here. I believe he does dodge now. So yeah, A hey, Janemba. Anytime I get to show this off again. Though I love doing the Dunker Fest events, I like to show off units and stuff like that. Hey, Kefla's gonna transform. Man, that looks great on my phone. It looks so beautiful. Again, I haven't seen everything just yet though, but yeah. Um, can I click for it? Nah, I don't really need them on rotation. Janemba's gonna be tech. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, I don't care. I know with Goku falls below, I think, 59%, you can give him effective against all types. Plus, on top of that, if you really want to go that far, you can kind of, you know, heal up and kind of... Because he's with the, um, STR Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, um, you can actually choose to go effective against all types or go back all the way up to his health. I'm um, trying to give him, I guess, a little bit more attack defense, I believe. So, yeah, he's built really good and just st st strategically, I can just kind of plan out what I want to do. Effective against all types or just keep my attack and defense and stuff like that. But yeah, Janemba does dodge, I believe, though. And the problem with this Goku, though, of course, he had to build up. He had to take a lot of hits and stuff like that. Again, any chance I get to see super attacks and stuff like that, it's going to be really good. I believe that the Super Saiyan Link active, so he's going to do a lot more damage. Uh, I don't think I have it active. The only Kaioken Blue has Super Saiyan. Some of them do, some of them don't. It's really weird. Um, do you have his active skill? No, he does not. Um, actually, I'll do this. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, any chance I get to um, do active score or whatever, I'm going to do it because I want to show it off my phone and stuff like that, of course. Yeah, just, again, I've been using it for, like, the last week. It's actually really, really good. But yeah, I was at Janemba and stuff like that. He's actually really good as well. When I first saw him, his details, he was actually really, really good before he transformed. Even after he transformed, he was actually still solid, though. But, um, again, a lot of people just hate on it. You know, because Videl, like, is out now. She designed way better than these guys. I kind of do get that as well because I think I was disappointed with... The dynamic Super Saiyan Goku, the um, when it just came back for Saiyan Day, I was really disappointed with him when he first came out because the animations looked so robotic and horrible. I just didn't like it. You know, back in the day, oh, those were the best animations in the game. Hey, Kefla, Super Saiyan, dude, my voice cut out there for a second again. Not the phone's fault, my voice just in general cut out. So yeah, hey, that's great. We can see more of these transformations on my screen, so that's really good. Um, is Kai Kumbu Goku? No, you can't get that just yet. But um, I think you can't do it with Khalifa either because I believe hers. Is when we find a universal survival cycle. Universal to Chris Hands universal survival cycle only once. Okay, yeah, so you're not gonna get it here. I don't care. I was looking to see more transformations and stuff like that on screen. Even though not as much here, but I don't care. Again, any chance I get to show it off, I'm gonna do it no matter what though. So yeah. Um again, Janemba, I feel like they do a lot, but at the same time a lot of people just hate on them and stuff like that. I, I gotta go back and probably read his stuff a little bit more. Cause when he first came out, he was actually really, really broken. Him and Pike on War, but then at the same time, they kind of fell flat a little bit because a lot of people weren't impressed with the damage numbers coming out and stuff like that, which I do kind of get though as well. Oh, yeah, Kev got no super attack. I saw that. Hey, Kev was just great though. Again, I love using this Universal Bubble Saga team. It's just so fun in general. Again, the team is just good again in general and stuff like that. Hey, Kev was going to dodge here. Um, but yeah. Um, okay, Janemba's going to dodge here. Okay, yeah, Battle of Dodges. Oh, you can see his essay animation as well. Again, any chance I get to show it's off, stick they're really good. And Janemba, I saw some of his like, you know, shading right there, of course, for a super attack. That's really weird. Oh, dang, that's like a lot. Um, uh, Goku will probably transform here. And we'll, Jiren probably won't get his active skill because he had to get hit four or five times, I believe, for his active skill to come around. So, whatever. Any chance I begin to get it and stuff like that. So, yeah. I um, I actually need to record my 8 bit Doken video too, like for the 8 bit units and stuff like that. Um, yeah, again, um, I gotta record that video soon. Um, I probably gotta do it like somewhat after this. So, um, 
yeah, again, I got, uh, I'm, sorry, I'm so distracted right now. Um, again, because I got other mobile recordings to do, and I'm just so, not distracted, but it's like, I don't know what to do next. Like, I could do, my uh, I could do, I'm, I'm even planning to do, like, a box showcase, because, again, I never got to do that at all for my channel. I want to do a box, um, um uh, yeah, uh, not unboxing, but I want to do a box showcase for my Doki units. Um, I somehow use, because I have a couple layouts, actually, I can use, so, that was a Geneva event and stuff like that. I think I have a couple layouts I can actually use. I might use my... Um, do I go one? Because I have one up here already. I just can those are just layouts I can use and stuff like that. Thank you again. Dirty saying you're so awesome. He does those layouts for free for anybody to use. I love them, they're perfect and awesome. But yeah. That was an episode of the Fest event and stuff like that. I lost my train of thought though. But yeah. Again, I do not recommend something on the banner and stuff like that. Again, I do more of the stuff off screen though. But I do not recommend something on the banner. Him or PyCon. They're both actually really, really good. Again, Global does have tickets and discounts and stuff like that for the first couple multis right here. Um you, you do the first three, of course, like the regular rotation. They're all discounted. You get the last one free. But on top of that as well, um, you'll get tickets and you can summon on the ticket version of these banners. So they're the same exact banner, you just get you know the tickets and stuff like that. Um, again, though, um, again, the Jimmy Bird's actually really solid as well. I like both banners equally, though. Of course, like, you know, when you have coins and stuff like that. And besides the boy Goku Black, but though, of course, but yeah. And it's time to show off Jinnipa's new category. Um, I think it's Corrupted Body and Mind. Yeah, cor no, Corrupted Body and Mind. It's called Money and Body and Mind Erosion and JP. It still is, but again, translations and stuff like that. So basically, it's anybody who's been brainwashed or, you know, um, I don't know, when did really count? Because he did actually, oh yeah, I forgot I had a trigger effect on this guy. So yeah, you guys can see it there. First time I'm seeing that on my phone, man, it looks so great. I have one for Goku Black as well, right here. Oh, it looks way better transformed and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, if I was guy checking out there for a second, I kind of saw it. Yeah. But yeah, um, basically anybody who's been, like, you know, transformed, like, evil and stuff like that. So yeah, no heroes, just all villains, okay. Uh, it's like Inhuman Deeds, though, a little bit. Like, you know, there's only, like, a whole villain category, so as you guys... Just again, it's like one of these categories, you know, it's basically mainly just villains and stuff like that. Um, Android 17 does count from GT, even though you need to have GT in his name. But the same name, name update for JP and stuff like that's really, you know, kind of that. And I always think that was ready just in case, like, as a fodder, because he does Doken Awaken to the AGL Jinnipo. But yeah, I'm actually going to show him off on his banner. I think he is on the banner. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, yeah, he is. He, yeah, he does questions that Jinnipo. That's what I was talking about. But yeah, uh, but again, both banners are really good. When I first came out for JP, it was good, but I do not need to summon all these guys at all. It's literally worth nothing to me, so, yeah. Gonna go into video here for sure, though. I don't really recommend summoning. Unless you, I just say, honestly, for Global, do the discounts. That's all you gotta do. Discounts, that's it. Dead that, go cruise, get tickets, summon on ticket banner. Because, um, again, with the coin update and stuff like that, you know, um, it'll bring out, you know, a new, you know, coin system. Basically, get units with coins, but they do have to be rainbow. And orbs are going to be more of a prioritized, you know, old kind of thing, you know. Because, for example, you could rainbow this cooler right here. I got them fully rainbow. But if I put them for, like, a Doka Fest banner, I can sell them with Doka Fest coins. I like to do a summon banner. As long as they're rainbow, the main unit is rainbow. For example, like I said, as long as the medical is just an example, V's rainbow and stuff like that, I can I can sell them like with Doka Fest coins. If I summon them from this banner, I give them with Doka Fest coins and etc. Um, I, you know, blue coins, banner, blah, 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 etc. etc. So yeah. See you guys later though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great luck. All good you can get though. Make sure you always stay safe. Watch trends. God bless. If you're going out, plenty wear a mask and stuff like that, of course. Go to some toilet paper if you need to. My brain's like way off on this video. So yeah, what do you guys think about the Doka Fest event? Do you like it? Did you hate it? Of course, could do more videos. It be Goku, it be Vegeta, box showcase. Link level grinding. I got some of this to do. Even on Legends, I gotta still show up the new Terminator Power Mode. I'll get my Super Saiyan, um, you know, Ultra Rare, Ultra, an uh, Ultra Goku. Lots of stuff to do for me right now. So yeah, see you guys later though. Again though, it's out.